Heinz plays for high stakes. Five cards face up on the table, two hidden. The players combine them to make the best possible hand. Depending on how lucky they feel, each player places bets. Playing well involves much more than just good fortune. You have to control both your body and your emotions. Because it's so important to focus during the game and keep an eye on what's going on, you start to notice things. Like what one player is doing with his chips when he's bluffing. They're really small things that most of the players don't know they're doing. But you notice them if you've been watching for a long period of time. Heinz won six and a half million euros at the Poker World Championship in Las Vegas last year. His opponent was unable to look him in the eye when he had a poor hand. I watched him a lot because I was absolutely certain that he was giving something away. When I'm playing against other players with a lot of experience, I try not to look at them, or I put on my poker face and stare at a place that I've decided on and advanced. But with him I had the feeling he was giving something away. And when he didn't meet my gaze, he was usually bluffing. The 22-year-old only started playing poker three years ago. We met up in a friend's basement and played over a couple of beers because it was fun. Then I discovered the website PokerStars.de. That's Germany's biggest online poker school. I registered and started to play, and from then on, my game has steadily improved. Playing poker online is illegal in most German states, but poker tournaments are allowed. One of the most prominent players at this event in Berlin is Boris Becker. It's a fight against yourself, a fight against the cards, and sometimes against an opponent, the chips that you have or don't have. Like in anything, a little luck doesn't hurt, but it isn't decisive. It's a game of skill, strategy, concentration and endurance. It has many of the same elements as tennis with the exception that I can sit down and don't have to jump around all over the place. Pius Heinz treats poker as a competitive sport. He trains with a coach and a nutrition consultant for tournament sessions that can last up to 14 hours. Poker has made him a millionaire. I would say that luckily it hasn't really changed me all that much. The money that I have won primarily means security to me. I've invested it carefully, and if I don't do anything really stupid, then I won't have any money worries for the rest of my life. Almost 750 players are taking part in the tournament in Berlin, the most important one in Germany, and with a startup sum of 5,000 euros. Fans want to change the game's image. When I first heard about poker, I thought about those films, those images you have of the Cincinnati Kid or Steve McQueen. They've got a gun on the table and a glass of whiskey, and one of them bluffs and the cards are marked. That's why I started promoting it. I'm not a pro. I speak for everybody else. It's one of my great passions. I'm an amateur, but I play pretty well for an amateur. Boris Becker and Pius Heinz, ambassadors for a new image for the game. They want poker to make more positive headlines and lose its association with gambling addiction. I'm of the opinion that a whole host of things can cause addiction, whether alcohol or cigarettes. You can even be addicted to exercise. I can say in good conscience that poker isn't very addictive for me. I'm definitely not addicted to it. I think my strength is my ability to take it as it comes. I'm ambitious and like to win, but I try not to take it all too seriously, and I don't let it drive me crazy. Pius Heinz is still playing at the Berlin tournament, but he no longer has a chance of winning. This time, he took too many risks too soon.